All right, portfolio class, welcome to the final installation of video feedback for the fall 19 portfolio class. Project three, final version. Let's get it. Pavilion, forestry students, timber construction. Got it. Huh, I didn't know it was that big of a business. Site plan, placeholder. Got it. Sad the leopard blade down the lapidated storage shed. Can't even say it. Branch frame lengthen. All right, so this is your. I wouldn't call it. Well, is it ideation or is it iteration? It seems like this is one two three. If it is one two three, maybe change that to iteration. And then a subtle grayed out number just showing me differences. Also, there's a change in angle and there's a change in size. Can we regulate that more if it is iteration? Gotta be real with you. Is this the best image to show what you want to show? Paths and current circulation through Grove. I don't see it happening here. I can see a stack. Place screens to strategically block views. The green screens? I would guess so. Final branch, gridge, path, block views. Problem with this stuff right now is just the size of it, right? I can perceive your details here. The grid, I actually have no idea the purpose of a grid. I'm hoping y'all do. The path, it's like, how can we make these bigger, right? If you had four, maybe you could blow it up. I'm always considering make this two page because at this point I can't appreciate your, your details just because of scaling. I'm just checking on font sizes. It feels like your text is kind of hugging the outside a bit much. So what I want you to do is just in terms of this text size, I know it goes counter to what I typically say, but maybe drop up to two point sizes and see if that helps get off the wall a little bit. Also, I think you could scoot in, we'll call it a quarter inch. You don't need to, just I need to get these off the wall and that's off the wall equally. Can we bring a boldness to this? Because in terms of visual hierarchy, I see your text first and this second, I don't even know what that says. Nice. And at some really I'd like the last image to be like some juicy renders. Because after this is like kind of a sketch. I mean it isn't sketch up, I wouldn't call it rendered up, but that's that's good in terms of environment, but all I see is like this horizontal structure. How can we make it look? I don't want to say desirable. Desirable is not a strong enough word, but how do we make it eye candy? That's the one thing I want to add to the wood comp. All right, Ryan, I'm going to get yours later. Hard to read this text. I might consider putting it into the zone. Well, yeah, the divide bothers me. I want it on white because you get high contrast, but as I can read this and I can read this, this stuff that's in the middle is challenging. I know it's not really exciting feedback, but. It is what I see. All right, I gotta wait. There we go. For my screen to change. Why? It is for only children. Why is that a bad thing? That should be dictated in here. And really, I'm not gonna read this as much. So maybe using the bolding to bring my attention to like the most important set of words: texting generation, segregated playground. Gotcha. So if this is the why, I want you to see you address the why when we get to the end. Research. Only small change that was here was like 
vertically, I can see how this fits into columns, but horizontally, right, the top of this lines up, doesn't line up, does line up. Can we get the top of your text to lined up with the top of your uh, other headers? I love what you're doing here in terms of like concepting or development through mind mapping. I have two ideas. One, excuse me, is to get rid of the outside only because like this is weird because of the cutoff. Or embrace the fact that it's done on whiteboard. Copy this area on the left, flip it and put it on the right. That way it looks like a full complete board with a ending instead of leading into your, your graphic. Default criteria, let's call it essential criteria. Default means, it does, it's not as strong of a word. Main criteria. Other times it doesn't bother me that you have a lot of information on the page, but this one kind of feels like it's a it feels it's a, like it's a but it's a bit much to me. If I had to pick one of the two, I'd pick your storyboard. If the morphological matrix leads you to other outcomes, keep it in. But if this is a design method that really didn't play a lot of um, say a different way if the matrix didn't end up helping you develop or helping you improve your overall outcome not that important I do like you saying hey these are the group sketches these are my sketches improvement and testing let's not instead of it is testing, but I'm more interested in that being full scale. The downside is I can't tell that it's full scale because I have no scale to compare it against. It's just lots of pieces of paper put next together. I like how I can see the details. I need somebody playing with it. Here we go. Okay. I believe I said something about this, this one wheel drive earlier, but I can't remember what it was. So check the last video. I just don't remember. All right, you're talking about being a pinball. 3D model, scale, how to play. All right, let me go back to what you said was important earlier and double check. It's for both adults and children. It incorporates all body types this is really great I would like to see an adult and a kid playing with it though I mean this is the idea and I guess you don't want to be redundant but I mean if you're talking about how to attract adults I guess the last thing I would do is if you had a mannequin, like an, if this is a kid mannequin, have an adult mannequin right here, right? Because that drives from the fact that the adults and the kids are playing at the same game. All right.
cool render on the way. There's some type of a data crunch going on. Who is it for? I don't even know what we're doing. Interior space. Interior spaces are tough. So how do we get net worth a 36-year-old? This is a demographic that I don't understand. I'll try Elysium, of course. Brad Pitt movie. Is it Brad Pitt? Matt Damon? It's Matt Damon for sure. I think it's important you need to like call out this being a airplane interior design or have the render imply that just because it's a eight to I mean how many companies in the US do it three I'm making that number up but who is this for what does she need sure integrating this idea of ikigai so if you're gonna call it out earlier, I need to see it implemented. Render, render, render. Later on, this is cool. Renders are nice. I mean, really, for me, it's more form development. I see some. Like, what's the difference between these two? Other than you threw a background on it. What's the difference between these two? Lucky you're just repeating the same sketch over and over. So if there is a difference, I might need your assistance in pointing it out. It's like, these are just mirrors. I can see that this has like a depression of some sort. Thoughtful kind. A Danish word that I can't say. Yeah, this is also weird. It's like an image on an image. Right, just because of the drop shadow. Is there a different way to do this? I know what you're trying to do is like explain current, but maybe there's two thirds of the page are images of current because obviously that's what is out there now, and then use the sketches to like draw annotations off of and say you know this is what's kind of the, the common material, this is kind of form study. Everything is kind of stuck in the late 1990s. A lot of stuff has to be um, extruded. Aluminum. You got a combo page there. It's the boss on. No more hyphenizations. I really should stop reading. If you have hyphenizations, research, parent, child, child development, child development. Okay, if these are important, what did you learn? Parent-child relationship, what is the most important thing? I'm gonna go into the biggest text, right? More than 45% of parents spend more time on their phones than with their children. Okay, that's a big number. I don't know if I will leave it, but it's possible. Almost 50% of children claim when their parents focus a spell check on the phone, they would feel unhappy and lonely. All right. I don't know if I believe those figures. So, hyphenization, please. For the love, it's Project 3. Y'all know how much I don't like these things. Alright, so it's going to strengthen that relationship. Physical development, what is needed? This looks like the most important. Hand eye coordination. You've already covered good parent-child relationships, so hand eye coordination is the thing you want to work on according to the way you bolded it. Then cognitive, this is the biggest. Think individually and creatively. Design criteria, two to five people equipment. 
educational function. Well, it's going to be physical and cognitive because you already kind of set that up. Ergonomics, interaction between children and parents. Like, I already know this is a design criteria because you've already said, like, this is what you had to learn. This is what you learned. You learned it for a reason. It just doesn't feel like a useful page. What I want to know is how you install the design criteria into your sketches. So I need call outs. I need text. I need something here. And you get to your final sketch super fast. And it looks exactly like your final model. So if you really are exploring those themes, I would expect another page. Also, make sure you have no more than two font sizes. It feels like you're using three, maybe four. You need a header and then you need a body type. I'm not counting these as headers, but maybe here's a good example. Like this is a header, or that's a header, and then feels a little bit big for body type. That feels a bit more correct. All right, before you start breaking it, you need to show me everything up front. So it's weird for your final skips to look exactly like your, your model. So how did you get from here to here? And then from what, what changes did you make from final sketch to rendering? Show me the full rendering first, and then you can break it down to the elements when I, once I know what they are. I like the highlighting and calling out um, aspects of the design. Keep in mind, there's three things you've got to solve. Parent and child, and I need to see parent and child. I don't see any parents. Second one is how do they learn cognitively? Third one is how do they learn physically? You have to include those things. I should have read it more, I didn't. I need a rolling road. Adjusted some formatting, made the CAD pages headers consistent, top of the page good. On the modeling side, I should take out the black and white photo of me. We'll see. Edge about it because it makes your project seem a little personable. All right, got it. All right, entertainment. We don't know what type of entertainment yet. Got it. Good. Just the resolution I'm seeing on my screen, I might darken the background just a little bit more. I like that I can see in the back, but I want to increase contrast just a touch. What do kids like? What is enjoyable? What did you learn from your research? Or is there a good reason just to skip research on this one? Up to you. This is all form development. Alright. So sticker dispenser, which I think everyone likes a sticker dispenser. I'm concerned, like I do like seeing the volume, but will I see the quality of sketches coming up? No, yes. All right, cool. What do we have? Like, I might say what's available. About a point. Form development. There's also like functional development too. Like forms just the outer casing in this case. I'd say interaction and like intuitive interaction is a really essential part of this project. Good things to check on. All right, who's looking at the models? Is this a client project or is this a personal project? Because there's a variety of options to look at. Who? Um, I guess my biggest curiosity is like, I lost my train of thought. What is my biggest curiosity off of this one? Yeah, 
How is this thing going to work? And draw your own sticker. Adhesives it via rolling the, the knobby. Does it come in roll and come? I guess it comes in individual pieces. There we go. How it works. Three sticker paper cartridges, jizz, plural, because I'm like only three pieces of paper, somebody's gonna murder you. Um, each holds lowercase h. 40 stickers. This is good. I mean, this is essentially like show me how it works, and then I do want to see kids play with it, which I think is great. I'm not saying go back and roll, go back and um, re render this, but you need, well, if you do want a, a truly customized sticker, you need to cut it out. And even more importantly, you need to have something that you can write. If I was going to go back and you know, tweak a part of this project, is have some place you can have a marker. Um, because without a marker, it's kind of useless. Lots of good assets though, just a couple of small changes. On the modeling side, black and white picture view. I didn't think I answered it well. You know what, I didn't even really look at it. Like this was where I was hunting for information. So I'd get rid of it if there's a possible way to make these larger, which is going to be tough, maybe you could like crop them down, make them a bit more horizontal to increase their size. Yeah, the interest is over here and the information is over here. Nix it. Ooh, I'm just going to do your agenda. I have a question about what skills you think this showcases. All right, I'll tell you what I think. Multi-material prototyping. Possibly laser cutting, even though like, everybody can do that. Oh, simply. I think instructions, so. First off, prototyping. Secondly, explaining assembly. Third, photography. That's where I put it in terms of skill set shown. Would you consider throwing just a very light or 50% gray 0.25 line around this? Because like everything is kind of boxed in and this kind of floats up here. No adhesive, flat packed. Cool. Almost like what if you threw like a, a white text statement at the very end, kind of reconfirm it, you you met your goals. <sighs> I believe you talked about this thing. Yeah. Seen it today. Talked about adding colors.
being a bit more specific on what you bolt because right now it's just a lot full model refine full model what did you change I see. Do the depth of field thing. Mm, they look suspect. Like really, they should be flush, but they are not. I oh, get these little wedge things. Hmm. No, no. I got to talk to you about that one before I give a comment. Um, scale, I think chairs are fine without scale. One of the biggest things that I, I believe we talked about was just like the industrial nature of this. Realizing, and it happens here, if you do use all these pieces repeated, even though you do have to make a custom housing on the bottom, it saves you time over the long haul because you have just one different piece or you have one similar repetitive piece I thought that was cool cool someone done gapped his head I'm just joking but somebody really didn't gap him no I don't think we need this. I think if you're just talking about urban gardener, it's nice that he does gardening. Um, urban tells me we have a bit of a size restriction, maybe a dollar cost restriction. But if he's an urban gardener, one of two things. He either already goes to these places, which is kind of an understood thing, or he does such a good job at his own farm, he doesn't do imperfect food or Trader Joe's because he has access at his own house. This is a lot more interesting for me. Create a aquaponic system for urban gardens. What is this dot, dot, dot for? What urban gardeners want? Some aquaponics, some home. I don't know, what do they have? I find like this is that's really important because this is what what's happening and what needs to happen. So is there any way you can add emphasis to this? I said multiple times, get rid of this concept one. Like it's not really important. I just didn't care about this and my eye goes to concept one every single time. Also that's kind of cut off, so I would either, you know, fade it in or cut it off. Really, it's kind of, it feels like a little, it's a bit of a lazy composition. You just have tiling in the back and then images on the front. I know I don't like drop shadows, but at least I, you don't get this weird flow if it is a drop shadow. Or B, you make these larger and you photos or you do like one page composition. I mean, they're good sketches. It just feels like it's rushed, like it's not done correctly. No. Once another one that's not done well. All right, as who the components are, how does it work? I'm getting to the app system. Uh, I just don't think it's very good, August.
all right, if these are your issues, how are you solving these issues? Because if we can get to the solution pretty fast and then I don't get a really thorough explanation on how it addresses the issues that you've already laid out. This is nice and intuitive. I think this is good, but how does this piece fit in the bigger system? I guess it's right here, which is the... F is it the fish and water compartment or is it the water flow circulator? Is something wrong with the fish or something wrong with the circulation? All right, so top is fish tank. Ergonomic design, that's really big. Probably being big is like you already specified urban. So what type of urban situation are we talking about? Like rooftop? Great renderings, but no plants. I don't really want to get to the app yet. I mean, app can work in. It's just this feels more logical opposed to whatever that was. But still... How does this cycle around is what I'm interested in. It's just missing, it's just got gaps in it. All right, we've talked about this cat a couple of times. So how do you keep up in-store demand with this unused tech? That's weird to say it. Is this the best out there? Is it a, this is the best out there? Because this is the best out there is a statement. Findings still in progress. Yeah, we. I just remember talking about this page. I don't know what I said, but... Like... Restaurant needs, aquaponics, how do you fuse the two? This feels like it's about people. All right, so we have these two people needs. Actually, we better make it fit Daniel first. Rose is important, but not nearly as important as setting it up. If you build it, they will come. This is a really good point. Please articulate in these text boxes a bit better. Design for transparency. At some point you gotta say, you know, this is more of a, a commitment, a visual commitment to what they're doing. Even though knowing you can't feed everyone in your restaurant every single day from these existing systems. How does it work? Pretty important stuff. Teaching space. I didn't know it was a teaching space. Yeah, I'm making it a timber. Cool. Design study. What's up with this wavy wavy? What's up with this blue pixely stuff? Remove ceiling panels to evoke idea of covered and open as the tree branches do. So this, right? It's, hear me out. Even though I don't know, that's a weird way to avoid trees. Like you're, you're not even getting relatively close, in, uh, relatively close to, I don't know what it's called anymore, the base of the tree, right? You're, you're standing out beyond the perimeter of, I guess, what shade would be at noon. I think it's weird. Why are the two separate?
and if it is a teaching space, as you said, gathering a teaching space, what are some Ashley? I put this on Ashley. I really like this rendering. I'm still just kind of confused on what's happening. Um, are there any like basic needs that they have in terms of gathering acoustics? How many people are going to be included? I might just search two of these. The downside of them being so small is like I can end being black and white is I see something's going on there. I don't know what it is. So I'd rather throw it out and crop it down horizontally and then scale it up. Cool. I see. It took me a while to find this though. Like this part is relative to that part. Is there any way you can make it more intuitive? How far are these going to be apart? And what is this? All right, a couple of holes in terms of like what are the teaching needs, what are the gathering needs, why is it separate, what type of relationship do these have with one another, why is it so organic looking. Cool, coffee grounds. Maybe seven out of ten Americans. Or humans, I don't know. I think this is this is gross. This is pretty good information. I'm struggling with the data because I'm like, all right, mornings are a busy time of day. Messes are made and clean later. Yes. Is that even worth saying? Coffee grounds get left out because they're difficult to handle. That's a bit more true. Everyone's busy, but these are, the difficulty tells me that, you know, since it's, I can clean it quickly, but not well because it's difficult. Um, plumber, it's, it's an interesting fact. I think this is a lot more grounded is that it kills sinks. Too many bolds. And if these are so important, make them bigger. All right, if this is your solutions or your design criteria, then I need to see you answer them in, in a little bit. Inspiration, cool. <sighs> Get here. What time is it? It's uh, 11.35. Yeah, these sketches suck. I know you can do better. Everything else at this point is like, all right. I think, I can't believe I'm saying this, but this needs to be cleaned up compositionally. I think there's a bit too much happening. You know how I feel about this one right now. And then we go from this, which has like the sprout, which is kind of cute, to this little, little green flame happen, happening. I need to know how it works. Air vents, snapping groove, filter. I think there's bit crushing happens when it turns into a PDF. I don't know. Collection. Why? <laughs> While you might have a novel way to deal with waste, I disagree that it is a pleasing kitchen aesthetic when it comes down to it. It looks very engineer.
So how can you convince me otherwise? Ben, that's very mean. Why didn't you tell me up to right now? I don't know. I just feel very strongly about it. I can't say final because I can't say that word. Yeah, tower server, cool. Design brief, 11. I thought it was called final. I can't say it because I can't say it. Um, can you tell which, co which company this is with? Just if it is an intern project. Also, I'm... I'd like to see what it looks like. What if for all your headers you go bold? So instead of, not bold, but uppercase. So instead of um, D being upper and E being lower, this is all uppercase. Movement in heavy boxes. Opportunities, handle, compact, no hyphens, easy to forward backwards and sideways, lockable. All right, so it's good that there's lots of development. Development two, the specialized wheel, forward, backward, sideways. No hyphenizations, please. Test with 3D printed models and foam core models, cool. I think the challenge here is if this can show volume, you need to start zooming in on details. Like this can maybe be like two pages instead of the one. Because these are all small, I see you did something, but I can't tell the difference between them because of their size. And then we get to one. Um, just in terms of like gestalt theory, keeping information zoned and grouped, mechanical engineers is a bit closer to that. Usability, usability or userability um, needs to be a bit closer. I got a weird white space over here. I feel like just kind of pushing things over and spacing these out. Um, zooming these in. No, I'm just making them bigger. Aesthetic and reliability. Going back to your design criteria. I mean, reliability is a great thing to have, but I'm looking for the, the wheel takes care of front, back, sideways. I don't know if it's lockable. You do need a handle, you do need to be compact, and you need security. Handle, yes. I can see how in some ways it is more secure. Small detail, but make sure your arrows are going the same direction as your uh, perspective or your horizon line. I got slides back. Telescope in design. I think that's smart. Press foot. I would like to have a kind of a dotted foot of some sort, kind of a ghosted or a wire, not wireframe, but an outline. That would drive home visually what you're trying to communicate and I don't have to read it. Break activation. Is the handle being screw mounted a big deal? I don't know. I think just exploded view, I would just show the exploded view. And here I want just one. This is the color palette. This is really interesting because it feels like it belongs. This maybe does a good job of explaining context. I don't really have that type of rendering in full scale. This is really nice.
So if this is here, actually I want this to be a bit more um, forefront. So maybe increase contrast here. I like it's in context, but it kind of blends in too well. Cut it, comforting connectors. Trying to connectors. Connectors were refined to offer more of a professional finish opposed to piercing. I don't read any of this. I know what we're getting at, but how can we say it with less words? Raising space, like how can you bring attention to this section? I realized in an uncovered view, the light fixture drew too much uh, visual presence or the lighting fixture really messed up um, the form continuity. So I built up this level to make the overall composition more cohesive. Cool. Yeah, what I wanted to end on was like some big old images. <sighs> All right. Oshana, if I'm going to see these, like you're, I need to see these as one pages instead of two pages. Right? I know that InDesign likes to develop pages like this but you need to export where this is a page and this is a page because it's so small it messes up with my ability to give you accurate feedback um sure i don't really like the term of mom cook but we'll leave it alone right now i think it needs to change what was the challenge Product placement, okay, user experience. User experience really should probably relate more to your persona. Research findings, beneficial, speed, capacity, price, versatility, benefits, and then it's the opposite of a benefit. I mean, I don't, I don't know. Thesaurus. I know detriment could work, but I don't know if that's the right word here. Disadvantage? Yeah, disadvantage. Benefit, disadvantage. Persona, what does your persona need? And that gives it to the user experience. How would she like to interact with that toaster? Uh, typically we'd have some type of development or like just foam or something right now we'd go straight to the final orthographic and that doesn't really make a lot of sense it's like you tell me you have these needs for your persona and um, you saw them all in one get go so it lacks development in my opinion details details are good 
I think you can like explain these other views later. Like this does a good job of explaining top view. I like that to be the only image on this page and make it bigger. No hyphenizations, please. All this information needs to be centered, center aligned. You have this, it appears to be like a warming plate, but where? Is it for even heating? Is it a useful accessory? And this and this are practically the same. Also get your colors consistent. Um, this is more of a blue, that's more of a green. I would say stay in the blue family. And the last pages don't really do a good job of wrapping up. So if we were talking about what does she need in your toaster, make sure you're explaining how all these things benefit her. Um, making her day easier, making it faster to clean, the interface is intuitive. Is there any reason why you show me an exploded view? I think this is a bad place for talking about stains. Stains are only like, um, I wouldn't even call it a CMF, so color material finish. You're only talking about color here. You're not, well, materials wood, but there's different densities, different um, harnesses of wood. And then finish, it's your basics, matte and, and gloss and everything in between. So I wouldn't really talk about stains in terms of aesthetics here. So what on them sketches? Then you get the solution. I mean, I feel like I had good information for you last time we talked, but I'm just drawing a blank right now. I'm like what type of aesthetic, maybe some Danish design, some industry modern design to pull from, some type of development, any type of development, because like this really isn't development, it's the same thing three times. And then you get to this, which is, wow, it is a lot, a lot of the same thing. The biggest problem is like, you made a thing, cool. Why would somebody want it in their home? How would they use it? I think it's a lot more of a an interesting question to answer visually in the portfolio. What type of subtle things are you solving? I'm not thinking of things like, these are your accessories that are always the dig for, they're here. It's um like a lifestyle brand, it's a, uh, it's an element, it's, it's a way of showing off your taste. Not so, it is a product, but it's even more than that. Text document, cool, which means we've talked about it. All right, big problem with this page is, are you doing, yep, you're doing full two, play, two page bleed. I need some information, like a, if this is primary and that's secondary, I need a third level of information, flat illumination, which is like flat packing and luminaires, like what do you, what's the goal of the project? What are your constraints? What did you learn from your testing and assembly? Right, I just I need more information from here. Beautiful images, but this is kind of like, if this is pro, no, this is final. Um, so what steps did you make between your testing and your final? Fantastic image. I like how these are opposed to one another. It's really pretty, but like, is there any problem solving? 
Is there any challenges you came across? Was there a certain style or aesthetic which I kind of see here that you were going for? So just like a, you have the images, which is great. You have headers, just the kind of third level of information. If I'm interested, how can you communicate more to me? Emoji stereos. I think this is too much information for one page. I really do, I do like user journey maps. Is there a way to like bring attention? Which one's more important? Is it the top half or is it the bottom half? As much as I do like Anna, I almost want to remove her so I can focus on the top half first and the bottom half second or whatever order you think is more important. Also, I think you're bolding too much information. Like half of the things are bolded, which tells me things aren't really that important. Um, here's your demographic. I know it's Anna. Are we designing for Anna? Are we designing for a larger group? It doesn't really matter to me as long as you're being consistent. Sort of do a bit listening. These are a bit hard to interpret. Like what's the most important thing I should know by looking at them? All right, brainstorming, mind mapping which is fine, you need to change whatever this says to white because I can't read these. So some type of visual musical interface. Typically your mood board will become before your sketches because this aesthetic drives a lot of the form study. Flip flop those. Before you go into exploded view, I don't need, I just need clean images of just the product, something like this, but bigger, because the next page you do exploded view, I need to know where that exploded view came from. I'm not sure if you need scale just because if I have a human in proximity, I see it on a table or you show me like a hand or someone close to it, that can work. Even if you put this later on, you don't need to put measurements because I'll understand it from scale. And then we get into user interface. Wow. That's a lot of information. Yeah, it is part two. So it's the device and the the UI UX component. Just because there's a lot of la layers of information, I think this would be really good for a short video. That way you can bounce back between the physical, its interface, the phone interface, and how it works in a real person's life. Rivoleta, Rivoletera. What is it? It's basic information. Mm. Should I be upset that you left it out? I don't know. The manager hosting performance social variety. All right. A little bit of weird spacing here. It feels like it's a bit left heavy. Like specifically, what does this person want? We'll say hosting and social gatherings. How does it work? I 
I'd rather you show me a step one, step two, step three. This means nothing to me. This at least helps. I know that there's some type of heating element. All right, you tell me how it works, but I'm not gonna read because I'm going through like 30 portfolios a day. So show me, I think would be more effective. What needs improving? I don't know what those are. Is it just external? And these should be kind of viewed within the context of hosting. So multiple, multiple cups attractively showed for use by multiple people. I see shape. I really can't even tell what you're sketching because of the inverse. I need help on that regard. What did you learn from this? I might also just suggest get rid of all this information and just do call it something big one. Because when you start changing up scale, it's weird. Tamping, skinning, brewing, enjoying, exploded view. All right, with that information, that doesn't make sense. You kind of left off like the distribution and like it makes multiples. I think that's a pretty important thing. If you go back to the beginning, what you said is for hosting and social gatherings and you end up with something that's neither hosting nor social gathering, it doesn't make much sense. We're given shade. Cool. Look at their situations. What do you want me to know about this? I see that they're out in the sun. Maybe you're leading me that direction. I'm not going to read this. I want to see the Western Forge. We're looking at tools, which doesn't make sense because, well, you said earlier on that this is a shade provision. What do tools have to do with shade provision? Right, so yeah, then just focus on trace person. I know there was a component of what kind of happened there with their branding, but it's like you've already specified you're working on the shading product. All right, pop up tent housing, attach to that, inspiration. I think an inspiration page could be good, especially because if you're maybe um, managing two things for Western Forge, one is like, what is their brand? And two, what type of inspirational geometries are out there? Scale. I'd like it with scale. I mean, I get it because I know a human, maybe one or two humans can fit there. Then that covers one or two humans. How do you keep this thing from getting trashed? I just, I'm not a big fan of fidelity at this point. Like the renders are just renders, but show me how they solve a problem. And then like, what if I just call BS? Like a wind's gonna like blow and tear that apart. This is not enough visual strength. If you get hit with a 30 mile an hour wind gust, how much shade does it provide? Like, let's say it's four in the afternoon. Does this actually shade the people who are under here? I think you have a cool concept. I just, I don't believe you yet. I'm cool with this other than just kind of a weird white space up here. 
I might encourage you to scale these up just a little bit or kind of move them into the white space. That way that isn't such a, a visual diversion. Instead of buttons, I might run that across the entire thing. So just imagine this is one big rectangle with a red, a yellow, and green. Wow, red, yellow, and blue section. I'm not going to read that much. So one, repetitive behavior. Two, move and grasp. Sure, do the same thing over here. Like you've already said that these are the goals. Really, you should be reiterating like helps kid understand repetitive behavior and then maybe like some if you did that in red and i saw it related to that would make sense i mean these are your goals so you need to make sure that what you do reflects back to your goals Okay. Office with a O. Brief office experience supply. So post office first. What's the problem? Make sure you check your white balance on these. There's a little bit of a blue background happening, which I don't know if it's intentional or not. Post office one, what are you doing for the post office? Display prototypes. Pros and cons, hard to recycle. What's going on here? <sighs> it's confusing because all right, what's the problem? You tell me. I kind of want a top-down view of like maybe the flow. Are you working on the flow or are you working on like a display space? Because it seems like maybe you need to frame this around like you're working on how patrons interact with the display space to help them save time and make less mistakes. The challenge I see is this unit straight to prototypes and then later on you show me sketching and then you also show me digital prototypes. To so explain the problem a bit more clearly Sketch, then physical prototypes, digital prototypes, what are the outcomes, and then your final solution. Show me how it's modular, then boxes. I think a maximum you can cover like two, two topics in a A PDF portfolio, but I think three might just be too much. And for me, the order of your post office is a bit off. Supply, I don't know. Caliber brackets. Gives a little more space here. Need a better graphic, yeah. Keep in mind, well, think about if a person who's never replaced a brake caliper before, how do you get them to understand what it is and why it's important? And why two are better than one? Why are two better than one big one? Functional any setup.
DIY mount. That scares me. Very cheap, yes. Requires welding. Total cost of install? Yeah, because welding's tough. Um, cool concept, no doubt. Great imagery, great photos. The challenging thing is communicating to someone who hasn't done this before why it's important. That should be bolded. That is a very much dissuading factor. And then how yours achieves equal or superior effectiveness at a fraction of the cost. And keep in mind, I'm not going to stop and read, so how can you do that visually? First one's wrong. First one is wrong. One, whoops. This one's the second one. Come on, Mr. John, this project loaded up. I remember old Mary Michael saying, you know, have less. I think you're pretty close to having the less. Not your average bird. Safety, storage, sustainability. What you mean by that is like rechargeable. Let's go down to the bottom and see if you actually fulfill those goals. Storage, do you show me how to use storage? Yes. Recharging, nah, still not really convinced on that. And then, what was our last one? Balance. Do you ever articulate it on balancing? I can see you balance here, right? But other than that, it's been kind of unspecified up to this point. It's cool. It's just like it you, in your specifications, like this more communicates success than your different color backgrounds. All right, I'll give you more credit for actually. I can't. Yeah, you change the colors on each one. I'd like a, I'd like to see a person write it to be real with you. Because that would drive home two of your things. Storage with writability and safety with within writability. I think you made this a little bit bigger. It's um, it's a tough choice of what to do, right? Because I, I know you mentioned Jim Moe's companion planning and demographics. You're almost in a situation where maybe you can bold one thing and that's it because that needs to be primary. Your information needs to be secondary or tertiary. I don't know yet. Project goal. All right, increasing for urban dwellers. And this is your final one that's really weird. Like everything else is like purposefully laid out. And then this one needs to be pulled like a lot forward as if it is coming towards the viewer perhaps, but right now it's kind of just sitting on the background. This is what I really care about. It's like a change of direction, a piece of indoor furniture, down with that. Pretty tight quarter scale.
materials. I, I think you could put materials on this page. How does it work is a lot more interesting to me. Cool. How does your Bluetooth system work on Magic and Unicorn Tears? Or does it run off of power? These are really nice renderings. I enjoy them very much. My biggest thing is like to say, how does it work? Starting to not like this project. It's just tough. Modular workstation, custom shelving, customizable shelving. All right, there's a lot of things to change. Mood board. I'm used to things to be like one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Change three to white instead of like dark gray. What if you put this one over here? That way it's not on the object itself. Is there another infraction somewhere? I think everything else can work. You might have to just leave your numbers. Not necessarily, right? So if that's one, two, three, then it's wooden aspect, sleek, simple. I think it's worth the try. All right, I like seeing what you're thinking about. This works. What do you mean by construction ideas? It just seems like a, a useless page. I mean, I can tell by the rendering that you have some type of metallic thing, even if it's like a plastic base coated with met metallic paint, that could probably work. Looks like wood, we'll call it wood, even though it might be veneered. Variations, cool. Graphics. Does it have like a, an implication on flow? Like, do you go left or do you go right? Just curious. I'm almost curious about flip-flopping this page and this page. Like imagine somebody walks in, they enter face with this one, then they come around to sign one, two, three, or section one, two, three. Because it's like at this point, you've forgotten about all your development. It feels like this one should be a bit more superimposed into this position. You come in here, you do your business, you wait in line, you engage with here. Family of individuals. You gotta explain what family of individuals. Good, we're getting it here. I need a statement though. Family of individuals means there's something. Ugh, how do I explain it? I can visually see it, I just want one sentence.
family has a consistent DNA with a family has consistent DNA while individuals sharing that DNA I don't know I can't do it right now I'll try again tomorrow come talk to me similarity spell check please alien different I like this explanation of visuals a lot better than the previous one sketching ideation nice I would just scale it up a little bit right that way I can see the sketches easier but that's the only change here Luna nice seeing everything together like what is what are the things that make it a family and then break it down to what are the things that make it a an individual I'm going to make this two pages, right? Make these much larger. Let me pull off the different details that makes it an individual. No hyphenizations, please. I do want to see an environment. Like, it kind of works. All right, it is an art piece. All right, I guess I'm okay with it. Layout. Storytelling. What? All right. I might consider just running that all the way off the page. That way it leads to your second one. Three weeks. Single serve, pros and cons, I'm good with that. You view these things, these are your design goals, so I'm looking for these things at the very end. Concept, talk about Photoshop and that just down a little bit. White balance, you see how we got some kind of some purpley pink, some almost yellowy greeny blue up here. So let's white balance these out a bit better. Talk about these leaders. You tell me like what you did, you explain the relationship to different parts. This is good. But why is it important to explore the relationships of the different parts? A sacrifice. These are better. Talk about changing the color background for this, which I'm fine. And we can't call it a final design solution anymore. It's a CAD exploration, and then you get into all your new stuff with all these new renderings and the new buttons. Works pretty good. Toys. What is on time time? Great question. Okay. All right. So you tell me what is on time time? Actually, I think like some mind mapping might be good here, because you go straight into like the manufacturing or laser cutting of your final part. But I don't really know what you're doing. I know you're doing an automaton, but if if I'm reading, no, sorry, I'm trying this again. Like, what's the story behind the automaton? You have, like, this boat in water doing something. There is a bit of a story element, and I'd like to explain that first before you get into manufacturing. You talk about assembly, which is, like, maybe it shows off craftsmanship. These are really good views. Are you using the same type of text? No. For the love, please be consistent. A gift would be 
superb in this situation and like this up and down. I'm looking for the changes in between. And so I think I would like these lined up horizontally. See how big you can get them. And almost like a call out, like if this was an alive creature. Oh, you thought you had me. I'm going to come back. I don't know. Something like that. Yeah, you got to tell me why you chose speedboat and waves earlier before you start manufacturing this thing. Corner is jacked up. It could be just the PDF. Sometimes the graphic design of the pages are like nice and minimal, and sometimes they are just not like. I felt like there's gonna be a graphic. There is a background graphic, but I don't really read that as like really informational. It's more basic contextual. It has been popular. Actually, you ain't gotta say that. We know it's online shopping, just in Zappos. Go ahead and jump into like. We enjoy online shopping, but shoes are a major problem because of difference in branded shoe sizes. So if Jessica needs some new shoes, and I think like the, these should be filled with like almost a white. That way they're a bit more legible, increase the contrast. Maybe bold, I don't have time, which we all know that's part of a big reason. And you got to break them in so there's like even more lead on time. Problem. I like the problem. Must have been smart to suggest that. Is is it a Nike app? Yep, we called it True Fit. I might use the True Fit. I'm trying to find like what would be the splash page? What's the intro page? I might use that one instead of just the straight up Nike one. Right here. What if you just say combining technologies? You show like these two things. Is it possible to slide another image of how that works? Recap and measure app. Wireframing, cool. Really can't see what's going on. That's, man, I appreciate you doing the wireframing. Yeah, I wanna see a blueprint at this point. Like this got refined into something else. smart oh, kids okay, getting scared scaring me so one challenge we're gonna have here is you see all these different brands like why would Nike give away their business to Under Armour Asics and Adidas and like pour all this money into developing an app I, don't know. I think this is something you gotta address. If you wanna drive this home, show me a bunch of shoes in a landfill. Or show me like a, a picture, I know it's out there, a picture of someone tying up their shoe. Or maybe you'll do like a 50 50, someone enjoying the shoe that fits, or throwing away good shoes because, well, they, they don't work. Yeah, I think it could be worked in the final image as well. How much more do I have? Man. Two feet. All right, what are we doing? Coat rack inspired by kind of a Mexican Southwest flair. Are there any, uh, I don't know how much criteria you need for a coat rack. I really don't. 
you have this thing, you prototype it out. What did you learn from the prototypes? That's what I need to know. I think you can get rid of one of these. I say keep. Get rid of this one. Put these over here. Move this to the right. And this image needs a little bit of love because there's a lot of stuff happening in the background. So how can you make me focus on the full scale model that you constructed? This part needs to bleed down a little bit. It's a weird cutoff. Show me how it works. Show me how it works. Can we show me how it works? Two pieces, not two feet. Yep, it is two pieces. That's cool. But if it's a coat rack, what might it hold? I like the scale. I think that's cool. But it's not really driving home the, the use of it. TV working for them all right still don't know what they're doing right they, they want their sh they want to show the professionalism timeliness and friendliness attracting more audiences how does the design factor into this brand language got it so philosophically, you know what it looks like. Visually, what does it start looking like? All right, you're inspired with brand language. Cool. What is that like? Cool. Eagle, I, six. Similar color palette. Maybe some type of geometric repetition. Futura, cool. All right. I will say this one designed by special design group, special design group. It doesn't fit in with the rest of them. Just my opinion. Everything, <laughs> I think everything is really good and it has like a continuity that's, that works out nicely. Right? Repetitive geometric, bold, has a bit of motion. That one, not so much. Just letting you know what I see. Okay. Three projects. Children, Family Products, George Nelson. If you need some logo, shout out. I like how you start from kind of a mood board or inspirational images and see how those can be tied into your sketches and your sketch sketches are developed into your final output with that I almost feel like the first one needs because you just jump into random shapes that get turned into like these little birdie figures and I don't know where that comes from this one feels a bit more logical third one George Nelson inspiration development outcomes that would be the biggest change that I suggest
All right, you gotta give me a buy to this flag. Why is this thing important? All right, this happened. So this is like a how might we transition. Right, so this is the story. I think you've done a great job of kind of getting me into it. Why is it relevant? And at this point, before we jump into the designers, is like how can we take this extremely valuable artifact of U.S. history and make it relevant to a 21st century society? Something like that. That way... I just got lost in like seeing all these people. So the transition between the importance into what is the brief, you have all your people you're working with, created a display, what are all the things you want to convey about it. Yeah. This is cool. The lighting's kind of bougie. Nah, bougie is the wrong word. The lighting's kind of yuck. But... This dude needs a name. This is Glenn Williams. Maybe there's a story behind Glenn Williams you could tell here. But like making it more visceral, more human, I think is gonna be good. Alright, a lot closer. Swatch palette. What are you gonna do with a swatch palette? I think they should be lined up. Why is it offset? All right, so what? All right, compact, eco-friendly, multi-purpose. Let's see if you did it. Oh, coming soon. Well, you know what I'm hunting for, right? Compact, eco-friendly, multi-purpose. What makes it eco-friendly? Multi-purpose. Is compact? Sure. You definitely need a CAD because, like, in terms of connections, it's a good theoretical approach, but I don't believe it's practical yet. I might eliminate one of these things. Just a bunch of numbers, like so many numbers that I quit looking at them, and so they become unimportant. What do you mean? How how do you generate that number in terms of waste? Why so? Why use DW D2W plastic? I don't know what D2W plastic is. Also, I think you're getting kind of crazy with your font sizes. Like this could be a bit too big, that could be a bit too small. It's about right here. Maybe you could go down a touch to lighten it up a bit. What are the pros and cons of using D2W plastic? Inspiration, cool. Then we get into sketching. And like maybe the limitations from this plastic, like maybe it doesn't do a very good overmold, or maybe it has like certain plasticity re re regulations or restrictions. So in your sketches, how are you considering compactness, multifunctionality, and eco-friendliness? And that kind of applies on the way out. Trashy, trashy, two-week project. That's a big number. Agreed. Working on it. Yeah, this client cares about these things. 
the client doesn't make a lot of sense here because like it's just it's such a quick this is a problem this is a solution that we don't really have time to explore like what all her interests are I might have set up as a scenario like how could you help the Auburn um, rec center be more recycling conscious by introducing this too small I think your biggest challenge is like all right you're doing recycling which is kind of tough anyways people don't do it because we're lazy how can you make me through this physical design how can you make me care about your topic and actually engage this the way you want me to freaking Brent Hotel shoot me in the face Colors. Got it. Room design, public spaces, graphic wayfinding product. Okay. Team leader. Online journey. All right. QR code. It's too small for me to understand. So QR codes are directly relational to smartphones and camera accessibility. So why are you showing a QR on the web page? Problem is I'm it's too small and I can't know why. Online journey, you have this thing coming up. All right, sure. What is your job? Graphic and wayfinding. So do you want to, did you come up with graphic standards and what are the challenges with wayfinding? I think a little text could reinforce this concept here. <sighs> this guy ain't working. I think you need like not a literal view but a vectorized Kind of, we'll call it cartoony because I can't think of a better word. Um, view, so main building, side building, parking lot, and then the views come off of it. And these need to be much bigger so I can see what's going on. I can't tell who this is, but he's great at his job. Staff, step one. Staff greet you. They point you the right way. Sinus continues that journey. This makes sense. This doesn't make sense yet. Third floor. Nah, because like, who emailed me? No. Nah. Um, it. I don't. I just. Um, I don't think this works for a third floor view because we're looking through all the floors. Somebody, I think he was in a pretty interesting job about explaining this that I think you could take a note from is Coraline, grad student. Like by showing it an isometric, you can see the things stacked, but you can also kind of see what's happening on each level. Here, not working yet. Check out. Okay. So it's it's definitely improved a lot. There's some UI UX stuff that I think needs some improvement, but I'm not going to comment on that right now. It's just like, how do you guide somebody once you make your reservation? How do you activate your wayfinding and graphical scheme from the parking lot to the registration to their room? Yes. Oh, whale bones. Go back and check the sizes. This next one's going to mess my screen up. Like This really should be page two, but I don't know why it's doing that. Oh, man. Why is this being difficult on me? Your idea...
Let's go back a story. Call it your inspiration, though. First model. You worked in small scale to learn what, like what type of aesthetic were you going for? Um, refinement's what I'm really interested in. You had first one, you went to second one. Downside is like these look identical. So what are the changes? Maybe that needs to be bigger. You change the back profile. You change the slip. But refinement needs to really emphasize problems were corrected. Ergonomics were refined. Model one, model two, I see it. I think this view is a lot more informative upon like the ergonomics of the profile than that one is. All right, so what things did you enhance? See if you can like gesture visually. If I can avoid reading, I'm going to avoid reading. So what type of graphic can you show me? You made a change here, made a change here. This is a negative, this is a positive. Working, sure. I would just show the exhibition, use the um, like a High Point logo here and talk about how people at High Point really loved it. And if I see it in context here, I don't necessarily need to see it in context again later. I think this studio shot can suffice. How close? One, two, three, four, five. I can make it. I can do it. This needs to be like, it's the, the font size is a bit too big and a bit too much of a presence. So according to this, you're working on this parent to child relationship. Too much text, probably won't be reading all of it. I know it's not that much, but There's a bit like, like too much like visual stuff going on. Parent child relationship, I don't mind that being here, but should I look here at physical, emotion, and social, or should I read your sentence? It's almost like we know this. So if we know this, do we have to write it? I don't understand these numbers. It is possible that this kid does spend four hours and 30 minutes. Is it a day? Yes, we'll say this is a day on electronics. That's a lot. So we have one hour and 11 minutes with kids, three hours and 13 minutes. Does this mean staying with parents? All right, so I guess it's like combined time between both parents and the kid. I might center align these. But having them bigger say it's more important. I'd rather see like just one big statement here to draw from your intent. Mind mapping, eye contact, accomplishment, how to attract children, color shape, ways of play. Okay, good. I'd rather you make this larger because it seems like you're saying the same things that the image says. And I can have back and read the image. I'll do that first instead of having to read text. Too much information. One, less tech, less, less text, smaller text. Also need to know which of these helps accomplish your goals of having this integration of eye contact, laughing, rotation, 
colors. I lean to its rendering and rather you say like um, concept development because you have your first round of sketches and then you finish so it's really too quick. Um, I think just one big image could be successful. I might might choose this one, make it the entire size of the page, show parents and kids playing together. I'm not so sure about this because like there has to be a transfer. Does this thing rotate? And this needs to be on. You have to have some type of people playing with this in order for it to be a playground equipment. All right. I'm, the reason why I'm doubting your ability to integrate um, disabled peoples is if they could buy themselves, scoot themselves into the chair. How do you keep their rolling wheelchair from going away? Like it just doesn't seem like a good situation to be in, especially by yourself or with a kid, even worse, depending on you. All right, waiting for renders. All right, text a bit small to read, still a bit small. How can we? Okay, roundabout for physical disabilities and non disabilities. All right, so if this is your roundabout for both able-bodied and less or able-bodied peoples. How are you integrating that in your sketches? I don't see that quite yet. Right, you have information. This seems crunchy. Please address that. You have your colors, which are cool. It's just, if this thing was spinning, wouldn't that be dangerous? This is cool because it actually kind of frames you in. You're not going to start rolling off one direction, but how do you open, go in, and you know, consider we are messing with playground equipment? I need to see kids playing with it for it to really drive home. So the two of my biggest ask right now is kids at some point, and how do you access and egress? multi-tool, all these different things. Check that green. I think that green might have a hard time displaying on web. Just an idea. What if you had like an icon of a screwdriver, a bottle opener, a pry bar, and a knife? And like a circle around them. Best of everything. Prototyping, what do you learn from the prototypes? That's what I need to know the biggest. All right, micro size. I like it, I just expected, like, I want more explanation and development. Um, like kind of rationale behind the extremely small size. I think it's a cool project, I just want to know a couple more things. I think I might combine this page and this page. Like how to combine all these tools into something the size of a stick of gum, right? And then you're trying to explore how do you combine the features of each one while keeping inside of this real estate that you've given yourself. Tell me what you learned from prototyping. Why is, it success, why is it successful? I like the finishing um, images. All right, existing product. This needs to be moved down a little bit. Things in common, stable base, elegant shape. I just don't call them things in common. Stable base, multiple uses, hanging option, Elegant shape. Sketches. 
I might take some of these like aspects of existing products, hanging option, aesthetic element, inspired by nature, multifunctional, um, as like little written call outs to kind of communicate to the reader what some of your thoughts were as you're developing it. Hero shot. All right. I'll see it when I see it. Leather cut. I don't no, it's not going to be laser because this is a big thing. It's going to be a CNC routed two dimensional cut platform, two dimensional cut plan. Yeah, I need more information on the back end before I can give you information. Ignore this version. Okay. We talked about this in class at some point. I don't know which version it was. Talked about a little bit of font size changes. I think having your inspiration, knowing what's in the market, having some theme established should happen before we get to the concept sketches. We need to see everything as one. Yep, talk about the shared language and then go back and talk about the differences between each one. I like both of these like the full bleed ones, the small ones, not as impactful, but I want to go back to what are some of the assets or what are some of the requirements that, I don't know, what is your name? We'll call you Yi until I have a better name. No hyphens. Yeah, that's what we talked about last time. What are some things that Yi really wants? And then you get down to the bottom how are you delivering um, her expectations or her desires in these concepts? And I love how you have two different color schemes. Like, why does she love this one? And why does she love this one? And why, why does she decide to buy both? Because she has two houses and they have different kitchens. Something to that effect. Okay. Great success. Good job.